All right, hi Leos. This is going to be your another love message for you guys. This is for anyone that has Leo placements as the anyone that has Leo as their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. This could resonate with. Always check out your other placements, okay? <clears throat> your sun sign, moon sign, rising, and Venus to get a more whole story. Take what resonates, see what doesn't. Flip the script, uh, flip the script, and just place what side of the story you're on, okay? So. What do Leo placements, sun and rising, and Venus need to be in love right now? So we got unexpected. Cancer just got this. So you could be dealing with the cancer. Or you can have cancer in your chart. Maybe Venus, moon, or rising. Or you're watching for your uh, cancer, your Leo placement, cancer, whatever. Um, reaching out. So somebody could be wanting to reach out to you, Leo's. You could be dealing with the cancer. I'm getting that heavy. We got trust. This could be an interracial relationship here. We got blooming. Okay, so a lot of y'all are focusing on yourself. You know, y'all are just doing your own thing. You could be dealing with the Libra or someone that has Libra in their chart. Or you do. You could be Libra with um, Leo or Virgo placements. We got amazing sex. So relocating. Some of you guys could be relocating with your person or you're moving, but... Mm -hmm. So some of y'all's sex life is about to get active if it hasn't been, okay, or get better if you're already with someone. What's unexpected? With this love for you. Okay, Tower. Um, Scorpio, Aries energy. So Tower is Mars energy. I feel like something, you can definitely be dealing with an Aries I feel like something is definitely going to hit you or your person unexpectedly. Like, maybe some of you guys, this person is not your type that you normally deal with, but you guys make each other laugh. You feel comfortable with this person. Maybe this is somebody that you're already married to or with, and maybe when you first met them, you could be reminiscing about how, you know, when you guys first met, they weren't really your type or whatever, whatever. But something with this tower, something is happening unexpectedly, a sudden upheaval, a sudden change. We're going to see if it's a good tower or not. Unexpected. No, I'm not going to. I shouldn't say it like that. We're going to see what type of tower that is. What's unexpected? This could be something that could be happening. Maybe you meet somebody out of nowhere. Okay? It could be somebody here. It could be interracial, mixed, foreign. They could have a different background than you. For those of you who are single, this could be someone new coming in that you don't expect or this happens when you least expect it. What's unexpected? For Leo in love, Leo Faces. <clears throat> Yeah, the chariot, Cancerian energy. This is somebody that could be at a distance. Somebody could be wanting to pop up on you or visit you, surprise you. This person may travel for work. Yeah, this you could end up with an earth sign or somebody that has earth in their chart. This is you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe even Aries. We got Gemini here with the lovers. Yeah, the chariot. This is somebody that could be at a distance from you. There's something, yeah, definitely dualities here with the, the black sphinx and the white one. And you see how there's like this melanated woman, this black woman, this white guy. So you guys may come from two different backgrounds, whether it's like your nationality, your nationality, your um, race, ethnicity, whatever. Okay. Again, it could be something interracial. Yeah, even in the tower, this person is melanated and this person is white. So there's something that... Or this person could be biracial you, right? Something that, or maybe if it's not about interracial, maybe it's something very different about you and this person that is just taking off unexpectedly. This could be overcoming a challenge as well, overcoming an obstacle. What's this unexpected? Yeah. The Eight of Swords here. Libra, you could definitely be dealing with Libra, have Libra in your chart. Eight of Swords is Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody needs to get out of their head, okay? Somebody could be in this victim mentality, this woe is me energy. What's the tower? Yeah, the magician, Virgo, Gemini. So there could be delays in travel for some of you guys, suddenly. So there could be a negative influence with this tower here. I don't know if it's because you guys don't, somebody could be getting impatient, frustrated. What's this magician in the world? Something could be delayed, travels, flights, 
um, a lot. Maybe this person stopped reaching out. They stopped doing something or something isn't growing as or it's not. There's a lack of movement. Um, there could be negative energy being sent your way. Spell work I'm getting to. Magician in reverse. <laughs> uh, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Leo. This is your energy. Oh, this is Aries, actually. But heavy Leo here. Heavy Aries, matter of fact. Um, somebody could be an Aries, Pisces, cuss. Somebody here could be trying to... Somebody here could be farming, mix, or whatever. Um, there could be... Some of you guys, what's happening, your the negative influence is your insecurities, your self-esteem, you guys trying you guys trying to control something or force something. Okay, there when the tower happens, something was built off of a false foundation. So anything that was built off of spell work, magic, manipulation, uh the wrong things is gonna come to an end. So I don't know if this is you or someone going through this. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, two of pentacles here in reverse. Jupiter and Capricorn. So somebody's money could be funny here. I'm also getting somebody. I feel like some of you guys, your issue is also you guys aren't being flexible with your manifestations. And not, some of you guys may have a set type of look or type of person you want to be with. And you guys keep running into the same stuff. So you guys need to be more flexible here. Two of pentacles in reverse can also be like... um over feeling overwhelmed something could just be happening too suddenly too much at once for someone okay the king of wands is here king and queen of wands so there's the counterparts here okay this is um leo cancer energy some of you guys could be july leos or cancers Something's blowing up in somebody's face, especially if they were trying to influence something negatively. What's this chariot? Go very similar to Aquarius, and Aquarius is your sister sign. Go check out Aquarius' reading. Yeah, if like somebody's still moving ahead, there's still going to be success. This is overcoming something. Something is not over. Yeah, there's reconciliation. Three of Cups. This person could want to um, come visit you. They may want to do a short trip. But heavy reconciliation. This could be, like I said, to, with cancer. This could be like a friends to lovers type thing. Or you guys may meet this person while you're traveling, while you're just having fun. You guys are being told to just have fun. Some of you guys also don't know what you want here as well. Somebody's finances could be a bit funny. Something they could have taken, their, their self-esteem could have taken a hit because of their finances. So if they pull back or they're being weird, that could be why. But what's the Three of Cups? Yeah, Page of Cups. This is like a new love. This could be, again, having a crush on a friend. Or this is, yeah, this could be a crush. This could be like a friend saying, hey, you know, so-and-so. Or you go to an event and somebody saying, hey, my friend over here is interested in you. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, the strength of Leo. Child, somebody's watching you. They have a crush on you. <clears throat> a lot of fire here. This could be a fellow fire sign. Sagittarius is here. Another Leo. Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini. Taurus, Capricorn. But um, Knight of Wands. This is someone following their heart. Following Somebody here could like be liking your photos a lot. Giving you a lot of attention. Or you're going to be getting attention from a lot of people. Yeah, somebody could be reaching out to you. They could be planning something. The Page of Cups is um this could be this person could be a bit shy. Maybe this is you. They're not they may not be as outgoing or confident in among social social settings, or this could be you. Okay, but I do still I do feel like somebody has a crush. They want to express their feelings. You know, it's it could have hit somebody kind of out of nowhere. This person could be a bit emotionally unavailable. They come off that way. It could be due to them being shy, but we'll see. What's the page of cups? This is like new love. Yeah, this could be somebody completely brand new. For some of you guys, it could be an apology or somebody reaching out to say something that you didn't expect to hear from. Page of cups. Yeah, five of wands. If you guys have five of wands, Saturn and Leo, if you guys had any conflict, this person wants to smooth that over. They want to overcome something with you. They don't want to fight. They may feel left out in the cold here. Yeah, they could have been words or things that were set fighting. Nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius, five of pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. 
Somebody feels a feminine cold. Somebody here could also be sick or just feeling like really um, guarded. They could have abandonment wounds. They could be struggling financially as well. But the five of wands in reverse, this could be like internal conflict that somebody's battling with themselves in regards to their feelings. So this person may be a bit immature. I don't know if you friends on them or you guys start out as friends or whatever, but the five of wands is making amends. Somebody could want to apologize or make amends. This could be a friend of yours, maybe even. Eight of swords here in reverse. Somebody here could go both ways. Eight of swords in reverse. Man or woman, it is for me. Yeah, three of pentacles here in reverse. Somebody could be out of a job, or there could be a breaking of a contract here. Three of pentacles in reverse is also somebody not learning from their mistakes. This could be you or your person. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes. Somebody could be lazy, um, poor work ethic. Someone not, maybe they weren't being cooperative with you in the past. They didn't want to change things about themselves. What's this three of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, eight of wands. There could have been a lot of, yeah, there could have been an eight of wands, Mercury and Sagittarius. A lot of bickering, a lot of back and forth via emails, texts, phone call, two of swords, moon and Libra. Okay, not seeing eye to eye, being indifferent, not caring. Again, delays in travel, delays in communication, a loss of momentum, something just no longer growing or moving forward. Somebody could be in denial about that. Or this is happening because somebody is, their, their heart chakra could be blocked, they're, they're not listening to their intuition, they could be fighting, a month. They, somebody could be having an internal battle with themselves, okay? It can mean too many people's different opinions that's getting in this person's ear, like their friends, family, maybe. Maybe, again, like you could be different from what this person is used to. Even if you guys are the same race, ethnicity, or similar, maybe something about you is very different. But I'm also getting some type of spell work or manipulation here. I am getting some dark energy, but uh, two of swords here in reverse is not seeing eye to eye. Somebody may want to, like I said, make amends or turn over a new leaf. Yeah, what's this two of swords in reverse about? Yeah, the hero from Taurus energy. Yeah, some of you guys don't see eye to eye because y'all don't have the same definition of loyalty, morals, ethics, views. Again, interracial here, white man, black woman. Okay, so this could be somebody that's either a different race of you or y'all have different backgrounds, you were raised differently, how you see the world is different, that may clash. Who this person surrounds themselves with. How they move through the world it could be an issue. Somebody could be non-committal. Maybe they want to, I don't know, there could be a divorce or some type of separation here. The moon. Yeah, it could be lies, deceit, and heavy insecurities and fears here. What's reaching out? Yeah, two of cups. Venus and Cancer. I ultimately feel like this person loved you. They want to be with you. Maybe they didn't know what they wanted in the past. Maybe this just happened too unexpectedly. Maybe they couldn't make up their mind. They could have been juggling you. Okay, this could have been someone's ex that was influencing things behind the scenes or your ex. Two of Cups is like a mutual love, mutual feelings. Just reaching out. So it could be somebody you already know or somebody that you're going to meet. And maybe they got a lot of, they got some things to kind of sort out when you meet them, Leo. So you may not hear from them for a while. This is a new person. Reaching out. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. Gemini energy. Somebody could have been trying to curse somebody's love life. Some of you guys are also overthinking a connection. You guys both have mutual feelings. I feel like either you or this person, y'all could be mirroring each other. Some of you, both of you guys could be scared of commitment in your own way. Okay. Or needing to, uh, some of y'all both are not learning lessons. Both of you guys have lessons that you need to learn and you're not learning them. Reaching out. Let's reach out. Some of y'all need to have a heart to heart conversation. Yeah, the sun here in reverse. Leo energy. There could be inner child wounds here. Somebody feeling pessimistic. 
somebody here could also be going through like depression somebody's having a hard time moving on from something from their past here with the six of swords in reverse something is just progressing really slowly maybe you don't like the pace of something you don't like the delays or how slow something is moving or going okay and you could be getting frustrated two of cups yeah nine of pentacles so i know this is like an open relationship this could be same sex for some of you guys. This person, somebody, some of y'all were in something very abusive. The Queen of Wands in reverse could be somebody that's very abusive. They throw things, they hit, they act out. Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. Or this is what your person went through in the past, maybe. Um, also, what the, I'm getting is you and your person are both learning how to be good on your own before you guys come together. So there could be a codependency issue here. Both of you guys may need to learn how to kind of stand on your own two feet. So you guys both have something to bring to the table here, okay? So what's this nine of pentacles? Yeah, seven of pentacles. So nine minus seven is that too, but um, seven of pentacles here, Saturn and Taurus. Yeah, there's definitely, um, yeah, for an event, yeah, seven of pentacles is like an investment, it's growth, it's, it's, some of you guys, again, you could be growing frustrated, you could be, some of you guys, you've been single for a while, and that could be, you know, what it is, or maybe, you know, um, somebody could be watching someone's pockets, to, um, Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. This could be somebody's wife, their baby mother, or baby daddy, ex-husband, or husband, whatever. Um, Seven of Pentacles is like watching something grow. It's like... But there's growth here. The Empress is about growth, expansion, abundance, fertility. Something is growing. Seven of Pentacles... Yeah, King of Swords is here. Somebody's going to have to get, yeah, Six of Pentacles. So somebody here could be giving to two people. They're going to have to make a decision. Aquarius, Capricorn here. You could be waiting on somebody to make a decision. Or when this person reaches out to you, you're going to wait to see if they're going to be honest. They're going to be, like, checking the, the car facts, making sure what they say is in alignment. Okay? Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus. Somebody here could be having emotional outbursts, keeping secrets. Somebody's being sneaky. Or somebody's trying to get away from someone. Somebody wants to reach out. They want to say something. They may want to clear the air. You could have been waiting for this person. In the meantime, just focus on yourself. Invest in yourself. You guys may be needing to cut somebody out here. What's this ten of swords? Yeah, four of wands. Somebody could be getting divorced or moving out. I'm definitely getting spell work here. Ten of Swords, heavy spell work. It's becoming out a lot in the readings. A lot of spiritual warfare going on. Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So this could be new. I'm telling you, there's... I'm, I'm, I feel like somebody's trying to curse someone's love life here or something like that. But there's a lot of love here on both ends, seriously. You guys feel the same way about each other. I got that in Sagittarius reading, so check out Sag. What's this Ace of Cups about? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Some of you guys, there's a harsh ending, but you're getting new love. Okay, Ace of Cups. Somebody could have a military background or something. For some of you, a police officer. What's this? Yeah, Knight of Swords. You have a new opportunity coming in. Taurus, I mean, Gemini Taurus energy. Yeah, somebody coming, somebody's coming in a knight. After you go through this harsh ending, this betrayal, you have somebody coming in as the knight in shining armor, or you're coming in for the, you're being this to someone. You know, somebody's coming in to save the day here. Seriously, man or woman, there's love here. Somebody that loves you here. This is like a sense of urgency, change, an opportunity. Yeah, what's this knight of swords? This person could be younger than you. Or more immature, yeah, okay. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Capricorn, Sag energy. Some of you guys can have Capricorn or Sag in your chart. Or somebody could be dealing with the December Capricorn or Sagittarius. 
but the queen of pentacles could be someone that's unstable they're insecure they're ungrounded they do spell work queen of wands and queen of pentacles are both here in reverse there's a lot of spell work here this person could be reaching out to you whoever they're whoever this per your person's karmic is their ex or something like that they're waiting for something I feel like your person is seeing through it. They something they're looking at somebody's actions, looking at theirs, or look, examining their feelings, or examining this connection. And somebody, somebody else is pissed off and mad. I don't think it's you. Somebody's a troublemaker. They're fucking moody. They're coming in to start shit. The way somebody comes in may kind of throw you off your. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury in Virgo. Somebody's losing a lot of money. Somebody could be going into debt. There could be a loss of an empire. Yeah, somebody married someone for money. Somebody, all somebody cares about married you for money or trying to hold on to you. All somebody cares about is money and the image and, and how they look. This fake ass family. Something is just about money. Or the image and stability. Somebody could have a dark witch in their family too. What's the sun here in reverse? What's the ten of pentacles in reverse? <coughs> Somebody definitely has a dark witch in their family or this is you. Yeah, five of swords, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Venus and Aquarius, plot and scheming. This could be about an inheritance, a marriage, a divorce, life insurance even. There could be a crime here. A lot of pettiness, jealousy, somebody competing. I'm getting some, yeah, this fake ass empress. I don't give a fuck if she upright. Five of swords here. Somebody is 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 on. Somebody's trying to do something in the nick of time. The fool card, but somebody's gonna end up breaking free. The fool Aquarius, heavy Aquarius here. Somebody's gonna take a chance, a leap of faith. Anyway, they could be leaving all of this behind. Somebody's breaking free. Somebody could also have some self-sabotaging ways that they need to leave behind. I'm also getting like nine magic. Like somebody's trying to fuck with, somebody's trying to make somebody indecisive, unstable, ungrounded. This person could play a lot of mind games with you. They're really childish here. What's the sun in reverse? <laughs> yeah, two of wands. You could be seeing two, two, two. So twos are all about decisions. Somebody's trying to fuck with somebody's decision making. I can't make it up. Um... Taurus got two, 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 and Aries. So you could be dealing with the Taurus or Aries, or you may have that in your chart. So check out Taurus and Aries. Yeah, somebody's having a decision to make. They could be keeping this to themselves. Two of Wands, Mars, and Aries. This is planning for the future. Somebody could also be like a bit overly optimistic, maybe coming towards you or saying this to you. It may really throw you off because maybe they got some nerve. I don't know. Two of Wands. They still got some shit to it. It could be a choice between two different paths here. Yeah, seven of wands. Mars and Neo. I'm telling you, there's some type of somebody trying to block something. It could be somebody's husband, baby daddy, baby mother. Or something. There, I don't know. It could be a woman in masculine energy. Somebody is trying to like keep somebody stuck. Keep them from like setting boundaries or something is being something is backfiring something is going to backfire seven of wands here what's the seven of wands you may need to stand your ground okay make a decision and stick to it what's this you need to, some of you guys are being pessimistic in regards to this planning phase you need to you need to not give up don't give up so well, this is your person seven of wands. don't give up yeah, four of wands in reverse. Somebody's trying to keep somebody, block somebody from moving out. I can't make this up. Four of wands here. Venus and Aries. This could be a divorce, an unhappy home. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's trying to like fight for their position in an unhappy home. 
there's fighting, maybe even domestic violence, abuse, the strength card. But I feel like somebody is still having the willpower to persevere, to move forward. They could be moving a bit slower. This is you. And they're closing out a cycle. And they're going to get a success. There's going to be a big accomplishment. Somebody's going to be getting a big. Somebody's going to be completing a cycle, completing a lesson. There's a dark witch here. Somebody that's lying, keeping secrets. Yeah, four wands in reverse. This could be unsupported family, a, a neighborhood of people. Some yeah, somebody may have to defend themselves or protect somebody's child. Child, what is this four wands here in reverse? Yeah, somebody's feeling restless, anxious, lack of sleep. Some of you guys need more vitamin D. You could be for those of you feeling depressed, always tired. You need more vitamin D. You need to get out and get some more sun. Four swords here in reverse. Some of y'all could be having migraines. It's this house. It's whoever it's this whoever you're married to or got kids with or, or this is your person. Four of swords here in reverse. Somebody could be sick. Somebody could be trying to plan something, how to block somebody. I'm, I'm getting a lot of mind now. I'm telling you, keeping somebody sick and tired a lot. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah, five of cups. <coughs> you could be seeing five, five, five. There's changes here regardless. Just like I told Aquarius in their reading, somebody's moving on regardless. Pisces got five, five, five. Aquarius and Aries, go check out Aquarius's reading. I don't care if you have Aquarius in your chart or not. That's your sister sign. Go look at Aquarius's reading. Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, and Pisces. Yeah, somebody that doesn't want somebody to heal. That's what I'm getting. Somebody trying to block somebody from moving out, divorcing them, or whatever. Because whoever this king of swords is, he sees through all the shit. They, he, they know what they're doing or where they want to go. But somebody's trying to block this person. They, this could be somebody in their family or a, a community of people trying to keep somebody with the person. Somebody here could be like really depressed, severely depressed, being in this home when this marriage with somebody. What's blooming? Why would you want to keep? Why would you want to block? Uh, blooming. Yeah, it's this Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody's ex, their ex spouse, their ex, whoever they got kids with, or this is you, your ex, blooming. Yeah. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra, Virgo, energy. And look how her bitter ass is facing all of this. What's the blooming? Some of you guys could be having a lot of repressed trauma, resentment, bitterness. There could be fertility issues that you could be struggling with right now. Okay, you may need to, yeah, this could be another Leo strength card here. This is self-control, willpower, resilience, courage. Somebody's having the courage to face this Queen of Swords here. And this Queen of Swords don't even see this shit coming. What's blooming? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody's going to, uh, Mars and Gemini. Somebody's going to be really anxious and uh, stressed out. Yeah. Somebody's healing from an unhealthy family or relationship dynamic. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? Somebody here could be verbally, mentally abusive, playing all these mind games. Yeah, this person's going to be burnt out. Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Left out in the cold. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, Energy. This person, they don't have to be any one of those signs. It could be a Gemini because the lovers is here in reverse. This is somebody here. This is somebody that acts like they're cool. That they, they act like they're really sweet and loving, but they're really bitter. Really bitter. They are not nice. Somebody acts like they're nice. They're fucking not. Go check out Virgo's reading as well. Queen of Cups. They, somebody wears a mask. They And they shapeshift. They play on people's emotions. Yeah, oh my God, they're a troublemaker. Page of um, Knight of Cups in reverse. They're disloyal. They're a player, whether it's a woman or a man. 
Pisces, Aquarius here. This could be a man in this energy. Somebody's a, a shapeshifter, a player. They're just page of pentacles. They're disloyal. They dabble in divination. Somebody could be getting bad news about their finances. Somebody could also have lost miscarried as well. My condolences. But if this was done to keep somebody stuck or if it, for the wrong reasons, um, mm, we're in the age of Aquarius. So this is not age of Pisces. Well, that shit 10 plus years ago, it ain't, it ain't gonna be it. Page of Pentacles in reverse could be um, somebody getting friend zoned. Again, somebody trying to cause trouble maybe to somebody's finances. Um, ugh, what's the strength here? Somebody definitely is, is into some dark stuff. Strength here, they're causing trouble, they're moody. This could be why your person's moody or why you're moody. The strength card. I feel like somebody's taking action, though. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be August Virgos or Leos. Knight of Pentacles. Um, somebody is moving forward. Somebody has the self-control, the resilience. They're still going to be moving forward. They're going to... This person rather give this person half, every, half of everything or basically nearly everything. It, it means they can start over again. They may say, fuck it, take it. They may not even fucking get much. That could be the bad news. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody rather... F Mercury and Taurus. Somebody rather fucking be broke as long as they get to keep their dignity and go towards, and go, and go towards a new beginning. Somebody rather do that. Five of Pentacles is coming. But, you know, this is struggle. This, is, this could be a scarcity mindset that somebody has to let go of. You know, a fear of abandonment and securities. What's this Five of Pentacles? But somebody rather say, no, fuck it, I'd rather start over. Yeah, somebody is, somebody's no longer interested in something. Pisces, hey man, in, res, in reverse. Somebody could be trying to think if they stall somebody's finances or keep them broke or struggling, that that'll stall them. But that it's, that's not going to do anything. What's the hangman in reverse? Yeah, a curse is going to get broken. Somebody's going to get out of this. And they're still going to be coming out <laughs> as the king of pentacles, man or woman. And the six of wands, success coming out on top regardless. Regardless. Nine of swords here. It's fucking pathetic. Nine of, nine of swords. Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. Pisces, Cancer. Somebody's a dark witch. And they're going to be having nightmares. They could be fucking seeing ghosts, seeing spirits and shit. Somebody's intuition could be blocked. Somebody's having a lot of like a panic attacks, anxiety attacks, something they could be really moody. This person who whatever's doing this spell work or this manipulation or whatever this is, they can be going through stuff now. <laughs> Serves them right. Um, ten of high pieces in reverse. Somebody's having outbursts, they can't sleep. Insomnia. Yeah, the star card, Aquarius. <clears throat> And for those of you who are having fertility issues, I feel like that's going to be healed. Aquarius is here with the star. Check out Aquarius' reading, please. What's the star? <laughs> What's the star? Star is about hope, inspiration. There could be a secret coming out during like Aquarius season. But that's for something gets yeah, the moon here. Cancer Pisces. Somebody's intuition is blocked. Somebody could be pouring shit in somebody's drink, food, no lie. Keeping somebody's sleep. Yeah, somebody could be. Yeah, what's this moon in reverse? Somebody's having... Yeah, this could be subconscious programming. I don't know. What's this moon in reverse? It's just... Yeah, somebody's still coming out on top. Period. Yeah, this whoever this king of wands is. They're getting away from this person. Whoever the... Yeah, they're getting away from this person, regardless. Somebody has faith. They... They're, they somebody's in their north node. They... There's a secret here, but I feel like somebody's getting exposed. This could be 
by the public or group of people. I just King of Pentacles, regardless of whoever, whatever sign this is, or whoever this is, man or woman, it doesn't matter the sign. Somebody's getting success. Six of Wands is victory, success, accolade, something going public. I feel like somebody's going to be getting some type of award or recognition. Somebody's being supported by their guides. Yeah, somebody's, yeah, somebody's going to overcome this. Regardless. Yeah. Ten of swords in the Yeah, page of swords. Somebody is learning. They're getting it. And the cycle is closed. It's over. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Something is over. Page of swords is watching. Yeah, it's it's stalking. It's gaining information. Something, somebody here could be a bit scatterbrained. It could be overthinking. Somebody could even be a bit paranoid. Like, I, again, somebody could be seeing things and shit now. That's their karma. Somebody's coming out on top. Whatever, I'll leave it. Let's get some situation. Situation for Leo Christmas and Lara. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Specifically, this is Taurus Aries energy. But yeah, somebody could be getting exposed. Or somebody could be, yeah, somebody could be threatening to expose someone's secrets or whatever, but who cares? Somebody's taking a risk anyway. This person's still going to take a risk. Whether people like it or not. One more. Yeah, okay. Wait. All right. Um, insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. I don't know who that's for. It could well, it could be the you and this person, you and someone have amazing sex together. So, I'm oh, sorry, that was like a little fly or something. Commitment, um, long term relationship. So somebody could have been in a long term relationship with this person. Maybe they weren't married. Maybe they were just together for a while, or maybe they were. You know how when you with somebody for a certain amount of years, you're t you're married by whatever you want to call it. I forgot. But yeah, they could have been with them for a while. Divine feminine. So somebody here is a divine feminine. Okay. Or a fake one. I don't know. Journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. So somebody here could be keeping track of something. This whoever this King of Swords is, man or woman. Um, happiness, um, wholeness, overjoy, smiling. So yeah, somebody's gonna be happy. Um or whoever thought they were happy, they thought they were getting away with something, they're going to be in for rude awakening. Interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. So, you know, I don't know what that who that's for, but some of you guys may need to get on the same page. Again, somebody may want to um, uh, apologize, reconcile, talk, heart to heart, negotiate, or bargaining and begging. This could be whoever this person's ex is that's begging or whoever the other, yeah, the karmic karmic third party relationship lesson yeah something is very karmic it's yeah done completion lesson learned the world is here something is completed it's done it's never coming back um history past happened this could already happen family blood ties and a circle this could be like something with family um or somebody that someone has kids with or this is you pop up spontaneous unexpected surprise visit so somebody could be trying to pop up on you or they were coming they're wanting to visit you or you could be hearing from someone that you didn't think you were going to hear from ever again verge about to reveal and confess so somebody could be wanting to confess their feelings to you sooner this is you okay tragedy forbidden love and i feel like it's forbidden because a lot of spell work is here something was meant to keep somebody sleep but somebody's waking up and they're healing they're getting over something they're going to be moving out the more this person's out the house, the more they're away from this person, the more they wake up. Waves, emotions coming and going. So, yes, yeah, somebody's emotions could be up and down, moody. Okay, nightlife, gamble, take a risk in Vegas. So, I don't know if somebody met this person in Vegas, got mad, you know, got married in Vegas, or, you know, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But somebody's going to take a risk. They're about to risk it all because, yeah, this is a lot of spiritual warfare here. 
I'm not, that's coming up real heavy in these readings. But Leo, this was your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.